Hello and welcome to Aki BMS Link. Today we will focus on identifying behavioral challenges in our nation's schools. So we will be journeying to Manchester and Clarinda. Stay tuned folks. Let's go! Welcome, we are here at Moravia Primary School and we are here to speak with the principal with regards to behavioral challenges in Moravia Primary School. Stay tuned. Garden is an initiative developed by the Moravia Primary School staff in an effort to minimize the violent behavior of students at the school. Since its inception, which worked unified with a peace march, the level of violent incidents at the school has been minimized to a certain extent. The garden is flooded with various quotes charging students to enforce peace at the school. The garden's tagline says, we are not fighters, we are peacemakers. So what are the behavioral problems at the Moravia Primary School? Let us hear from school's principal, Mrs. Beverly Smith Williams. Well, you have um, different types of behavioral problems in the school, especially students when they are going home, they are always fighting on the road. Basically, most of them are from one district or by Silent Hill, and they are related, but I don't know what is happening. Most times they fight on the road. That is a major problem we are having with the students here. Since last year, we have this um, students start to steal, they steal from one another in the class. Wow. And even the other day they started to take from teachers' bags. So I know it's a big problem that we have to face. So we are trying our utmost best mm -hmm. to cut down on the behavior. Right. We have this disciplinary book. When they do something, we really write them up, we punish them, mm -hmm. um, give them house, in-house duties to do like taking up, picking up leaves or picking up garbage around the school. Sometimes I give them lines to write because remember, we are not supposed to right, admit right. corporal punishment. So, so how does this system, how does it help? Sometimes their behavior change, but others, it seems as if they're not going to change. But when I saw the system on the website, I said, maybe this is something because sometimes we don't know what right. method to use and I said because I was suggesting to the teachers I said this is a new system so maybe they will give us ideas as to how we can deal with certain behavior because somebody was saying do merits and demerits so, but I don't really know exactly how to do it so that's why I mm -hmm. said I'm going to call and find out about the system maybe they can come and do a workshop with the teachers and then um, everybody will be able to say, if that child steal, you can do that with that child. Right. And right. since it's a system, like, because the students are afraid of um, systems, and you tell them that they are going to go on that system because they were, mm -hmm. you tell them that camera is in the school, but, you know, just for them to, 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 kind of to curb their curve. behavior. Right, right. Yes. Right. So, yes, pretty much as you mentioned, part of what Aki does is you know we recommend we recommend yes. strategies and so forth yes. how to you know better these behavior of the students as well as you know the clinical aspect that does the transforming work right because um at Moriga Prep we don't really have a guidance counselor we don't oh, yeah. have a guidance counselor so I have to be 
teachers have to be doing whatever, whatever. Okay. And I suggest to the ministry they need to get a guidance counselor for the cluster. Because mm -hmm. you know, my school is a small school, they have other small schools around the area. Oh, yeah. Just use one guidance counselor to come in at least a week, one time for the week, to help the children who have behavioral problems. Right, right. But on a regular basis, the students don't really like, you know, some schools they have terrible children fighting and cutting up. Mm -hmm. We don't really have that. No one again, they will throw stones, but we always warn them. Now we have this system that they are supervised at lunchtime and break time. Okay. We have okay. to supervise them because they love to throw stones. Which is good, which is yes. good. Yes. Right. So, my final question, pretty much. Uh, how does. How do how does the behavioral issue the, that you mentioned, the stealing and you know, how does it affect uh, the stakeholders? So the students, the parents, the school in general, teachers, how does it affect everyone? Because you see, sometimes when the teacher is supposed to be teaching, they are they're trying to address the behavioral problems. Right. Also it causes some parents in the community not to be talking to each other. Wow. Because yeah. um, children at school, and I always tell them, say, leave the children because they'll fuss now and tomorrow they are friends, and then you, the parent, not talking to each other. Mm -hmm. So that so is that serious. Yes, because wow. sometimes um, it's even yesterday there was a child. Then as soon as they leave the compound, mm -hmm. they go down to the gate. There was a little fight down there, and the mother had to take the child up to the father and whatever, and tear up bag and all of those things. So the parents, and when they do something like on the road, and it's really bad, the parents will have to pay for whatever. And if they're at school and like, you know, once they kick off a door here, oh, I have to let the parents pay to fix back the door. Mm -hmm. So sometimes it really cause problem, and sometimes vexation and all of that. So, so we see there is a problem yes. in regards to behavior, behavior. at Moravia Primary. Yes, especially wow. fighting on the road. When they come in from school, since I have this, um, when I did the in Encel project and I have this peace mm -hmm. program, they are not so bad on the road. Because okay. I usually get complaints every morning or somebody fight, but they hardly doing it now. Mm -hmm. I have this peace garden out there. If you notice two white chairs in there, I have this peace garden that oh, I just opened. Yes, yes. We had a peace march, and mm -hmm. uh, if you notice on the doors, there are peace taglines and peace quotes mm -hmm. for them. Even sometimes, yesterday I heard some saying it, we are not fighters, we are peacemakers. So yes, I yes, use yes, those yes. stuff to get so them in line. Yes, so. Yes, but I still need the system so we can know how to address certain behavior. What the teachers can use if a child does something in the class instead right, of right. slapping the child or whatever, you use some other means and ways. Right. Yes, so pretty much as I mentioned, the Aki system does all of that. Right. So we are definitely going to be at Moravia Primary School. And we are going to focus on these behavioral challenges. We are going to target these students and see how best we can assist them. Yes. Right. So thank you very much for having us. And thanks for coming. Yes, thank you. The Behavior Management System is on a mission. A mission to impose authentic transformation in schools across Jamaica. And this is only the beginning. Yes, the journey continues. Coming up next week on The Link.